Alright guys, so we can read files, we can write files, easy stuff. The only other thing I want to talk to you guys about with sequential access files is how to append, aka add crap, to the end of them. Now, of course, W is for writing, R is for reading, A is for appending. This is actually going to be really easy. And what I did is I deleted all the crap in my uh, other text file. I want to make something new here. So, let me think of something. Cheese, cheese, everywhere even in my underwear pudding hammock. All right, so pretty sweet. Let me go ahead and save that. And this is my beautiful poem, a beautiful piece of art. However, I'm looking at it and right now, anyone can just claim this as their own and I don't get any credit. So obviously as an author, creator of this, I wanna say this is my file, add my name to the end. However, I don't want to do it in this notepad editor because I'm too cool for that. So I'm going to add it with C programming. So of course, we already are in A, a pen mode. And what this basically does is it takes your file pointer and moves it to the end of your file. So basically where my cursor is blinking right now, that's where my file pointer is going to be. Now I want to add my credits on a new line, so I'm going to have to kick this to a new line whenever I'm um, adding it in my program. So just take note of that. Now to print stuff out, f print f, which pretty much means file print to it, and it takes two parameters. The first one is file pointer, and the second one is what text you want to print. Well remember, my file pointer is on line three at the end of it and I want to kick it on to a new line and then I'm just going to put uh, this is actually called a haiku not a haiku spell haiku a little bit differently at an at a L to the end it's my own I don't know style of poem because I'm awesome by Bucky Roberts and of course we already closed it from the last tutorial so now make sure that that original one is saved and now write this, build and run, and check it out. Now when we open this back up, it added that line to the end of this file. So this is what we had before, this is where the pointer was, kick it to a new line, and append. So again, if you're working with something like, uh, when would this be handy, like stock information, and you downloaded like three years worth of information before, and you just want to update it with the information from today, we well, don't want to have to download it again and write it to a new file. You just want to grab it from today, write one more line, and you know, that's an example, one of the many of when appending would be useful. So let's actually close out of this. And the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is a random access file. Actually, I'm going to be doing that in the next video because I don't know. I just feel like it. So thank you guys for watching, and uh, well, I'll see you then.